Hey everybody, uh, so um, I was told originally that uh, the hard disk had a fault um, that um, he's, uh, Stephen suspected one of um, one or both of the bearings had gone. Um, there's basically two bearings in the main uh, the main spindle, um, and of course there'll be bearings in the motor as well. So. Um, he, he suggested to me that the bearings had gone, um, what that means I don't know, uh, so um, although I don't really want to power this up, uh, I want to listen to it uh, for myself, um, just so I can sort of make my own judgement. I might also be able to tell if, the, if there is any bad noises, whether it's coming from the disc or whether it's coming from the spindle motor. Um, obviously, if if it's the spindle motor, things might be a bit easier to fix. Um, if it's in the um, the main um, platter spindle, then um, that might be more of a problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power this up and have a listen to it. Um, obviously, I'm recording this because I'm only going to do this once, um, um, unless it turns out to be okay. Now, one thought I did have um, about what might be the issue is. Um, the earth grounding strap um, on old hard disks you had a, um, a little um, strap which connected to the base of the motor spindle under, actually underneath the, um, the whole mechanism um, this was more prevalent on the sort of five and a quarter inch size drives um, but uh, this one has one as well um, and I believe that is to stop um, static build up um, on the platters um, as they spin. Now, what that means is, if it if you do if it does build up, then it can actually attract the heads to the disc, um, and that causes them to um, squeal or screech. Uh, so I had wondered whether that might be an issue. Um, so what I've done, I've taken off the earth grounding strap and I've cleaned it, and I've cleaned up the connection on the um, the actual spindle as well. So may, maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know. I've um, I've released all the locks off the motor. There's one on the spindle um, motor. There's one on the main platter spindle, and there's one for the the heads as well. Um, they've all been taken off, so I think we are good to go. Oh, I should also say I have powered up the power supply. Check the voltages on that, and they are all fine. Okay, um, I've just popped the covers back on the. Uh, uh, over the control boards and I think we're ready to go um, as mission control says uh, go for auto sequence start okay um, I can't yeah I think the best thing to do is just power it up I'm here ready on the uh, the power connector kill it if it goes uh, if it goes peak tong fairly loud but I'd say that sounds fine to me. Uh, yeah bad bearing will be like a really high frequency screeching or uh, that sounds fine to me. Uh, didn't see any movement from the heads though which is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, the uh, power on, the check light is on and the red is on. And the check light is off, so uh, possibly the, uh, the electronics seems to think everything is okay. This is possibly a good sign. Right, 
right, I'm uh, going to power this down now. Okay, I think that was a fairly reasonable, uh, reasonable test. Um, doesn't sound particularly noisy to me. That um, I was a bit disappointed. I didn't see much activity with the heads. I expected them just to possibly seek from one extent to the other. Um, but the uh, the ready light did come on after like you know thirty odd seconds or something like that. So. Um, don't know um, until it gets plugged into something we try accessing it um, I'm not quite sure so uh, I'm gonna lock this all back up and um, move on to the next thing okay thanks for watching